This video will show you how to access one of the tools that we have available to us at Bristow Middle School for ebooks, and it is a platform called Mac and Via. And if you go to the library website directly, um, you can click on the hyperlink or you can go to the macandvia.com in a new window as well to get to their main screen. And the first thing you will do is you will find our school, Bristol Middle School. And it will prompt you to this page where you can click the login button. If you did not get prompted to this page or um, it's making you add a username and a password on that previous screen, you can type in Bristol MS for both the username and the password. But for all Bristol students and teachers, I recommend logging in using your Google account because it's going to then allow you to create a bookshelf uh, that of books you've checked out and you can use some of the features that are available that we'll talk about at a later time. But once you get to the main page of Mac and Via, you um, can do a couple things. You're on the home page. You can see what's newest. So if we were to add books uh, at some point, those would show up here. But since we've just added all those free options for now, there's a lot that are on there. Um, here are some highest rated by however they decide that. Um, and over here, if you click the categories, that is a cool way to view the different subtopics or genres that are available, both fiction and nonfiction. And I just ex encourage you to explore and just see what's available. Um, there's a lot of cool things that could be used both for research and projects that you're doing related to schoolwork or just your own personal interests. And lastly, I want to show you, if you do decide to check out a book, I'm going to show you mine, my checkouts. So I had been reading about 3D printers, and I had checked it out, so it shows up in this view on my account. And if I click Open Now, it opens up to the book just like it would be if I had the print book in front of me, and I can go back and forth and read just like I would a regular book. So I encourage you to play around a little bit with it, see what's available, and tune back in for some future videos of how to use some of the tools.